okay welcome to this module welcome to this lesson right in this lesson i'm going to show you the exact marketing campaign objective to choose so you can attract buyers and not time wasters right now in the last video i told you i was going to talk about this in detail and here we go all right so if you look at this very well these are the facebook ad objectives there's about 11 different objectives right now these 11 different objectives are categorized into what they're categorized into three into what three right so we have the awareness we have the consideration and we have the conversion right now like i said in the previous video if you select the wrong marketing objective right you are sending a wrong signal to facebook right and just like they say garbage in garbage out the computer that's how it works here whatever you tell facebook to do is what facebook is going to do for you right so this is facebook doing exactly what i'm telling you to do do you understand so if you select the wrong objective facebook is going to give you what you ask for right and that's going to result in low sale no sale or you know make you quit entirely so this is very very important right now i'm going to explain all these things right now as you see in the image above right the campaign objectives fall into three the awareness the consideration and what conversion now i'm going to explain these guys one after the other and then tell you what objective you want to be using right now the awareness what campaign you have that under awareness you have there are two um, objectives there you have brand awareness you have reach right now what are these guys what do they even mean right now a rich campaign like you can see here shows your ad to the maximum number of people right so if you have a message that you want to share with as many people as possible then a rich campaign is a good idea it's like saying that you want to go and share flyers right this is the advanced um, modernized mention, me, uh, form of adverts where you share flyers right so that's what the awareness um, the rich campaign is for you, right? You want to show you at the maximum number of people, right? Now, the next one is brand awareness. Now, brand awareness is very, very similar to rich, but um, the rich campaign, this, this brand awareness campaign is going to reach people more likely to pay attention to your brand, right? And yada, 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 they are, they are almost the same thing, right? Uh, you're, you're really going to use these guys, right? If you want to make sales, you want to get leads, right? But I just want to show you what these guys mean. Do you understand? So, the next one is consideration. And under consideration, we have traffic ads, um, traffic engagement, video views. Let's come back here. You see, there's traffic, there's what? Engagement, there's video views, there's lead generation, there's messages, there's app installs, right? Now, obviously, you know that these guys are going to depend on what you want, right? There's video views. Do you want people to watch your videos? You go for video views. Do you want people to what message you? You go for messages. You want people to you want to generate leads. Lead generation is there. You want to get what people to go to your landing page to go with your sales letter. Traffic conversion. Traffic is there. You want people to like your post. You want people to like your Facebook page. You want to get more Facebook page followers. You want to get more um likes on your uh, post you want to get more comments more shares the engagement is there for you right so let me take you down a bit so this like i said the consideration ad is what is great and they are great for you when you want the prospects to interact with your business and um these campaigns are good for um warm up right let's say you're going into the marketplace for the first time the best thing to do the best way to what filter your audience and marketplace is to what warm the marketplace so how do you do that you can use a follow um, my page campaign right to get people to follow your page right so that means you'll be running the engagement ad right so you run your engagement ad you want people to like your page you run your engagement like and they're going to like your page they're going to like your post and they're going to follow your account right now if you want them to watch your video obviously you're going to be clicking on what this objective right you want people to install your applications so whatever you want to do is well stated here right now if you want people to you know buy from you which is 
what a whole lot of business owners want to do, then the best campaign for you, objective for you to use is conversions, right? Because you want people who are, you know, who are going to convert, right? So you want to select conversion, right? So you say conversion ads are best for when you're offering a product or service to people, right? And it allows you to track the number of conversions you receive, right? So if you want to make sales, the best conversion, the best objective to use is what a conversion what objective, right? You want to make sure you get this right. And the reason is if you're going, if you're trying to get sales, for instance, right, and you are selecting uh, engagement campaign. By the way, when you boost post on Facebook, this is where it automatically takes you to this engagement campaign. Right, so you don't want to do that, right? So in a case where you're trying to make sales on online, you want to try to sell a shoe or a bag or a health supplement, or you're trying to get people to you know become leads for your business, and then you're selecting engagement, you're going to end up getting likes and comments, right? Meanwhile, what you want is leads and customers and sales. So selecting this conversion campaign is going to be a game changer for you. Alright, so this is it for this lesson, right? So I hope that you now understand the difference between these campaigns, these objectives, and what to use and when to use them. All right. So if you have any um, questions, you can always leave your questions. You can always text me, and I'll be able to answer your questions. Right. So I hope you learned something here. If you did, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Take it easy.